Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this is part two. We were talking about changing the colors with find and replace. And if you ever draw anything like this and then you want to change the color later, you'd be better off to draw a clone first. And I have my, my control clone here. And if I want to change the colors, there's three sides of the square. If I want to change the dark one to a blue, it changed all the the duplicates. Change the top to a yellow, change the front to a red, and you get to see what it really looks like in real time, you know, spread off across the board. You know, I still think it'd be better to, you know, do the shading and uh, like maybe have the top black one side, a lighter gray, and the other side a light colored. It kind of looks good with the shading. But I know somebody's going to ask how you draw this, and I've driven, driven, drawn it many times. Use the uh, polygon tool, set on six sides, make it whatever size you want. It doesn't matter. The most important thing is just to go you know, from there till it snaps to the center, snaps to the center, and then snaps to the center. And then you have your three sides. And then you could fill it in, nudge it over. Tell you what, let's make the nudge bigger. Let's make it like six inches or make this smaller. Uh, I didn't mean to really make it that big. But then take your smart fill tool and fill that in, nudge it over, nudge it over, nudge it over. Then you can take this shape and make a clone of it. Go to edit and clone. Now, if you look, we don't know which one's the real one yet because I've moved it, but we'll make that red. So that's not our clone. It's this one right here. It's the one we cloned. So then you're going to take this object and make your duplicates. And, you know, once you get it set, control D, control D, I'm not going to do a whole bunch of them. Hit the plus key on your keyboard, take that upper node and put it there, and then you can control D some more. Then you can take this block and make your colors. It really adds to it. It's almost a lot. That's not a bad color right there. It, you can change you whatever you want to with this. Um, you, can, you can't really make them any bigger because that throws it off. But, you know, I don't know if you could rotate it. Yeah, but, it's, but see you haven't lined them up. It's a pretty cool pattern in itself and right there. So if you're going to ever draw anything like that, make a clone so you can actually see what it looks like. Because, you know, your different variations of color are going to give you depth. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.